We're about second chances and there's no judgment here. We are committed to this city and our passion is to keep this city safe and to bring the best services to this city. I feel lucky to be in this position. So we work with clients from the ages of 15 up. They come from all walks of life. This is probably their first interaction with the criminal justice system. And our job really is to broker resources for our clients, right? To help them move out of the system and to stay out of the system. We would make field visits to your home, to your job. We would work with your family and we would create a plan with you. Every meeting we have is centered on helping people. So my first um, experience with city government was with the Department of Investigations. When I went to probation, um, initially it was kind of scary, right? Um, but as soon as I met the clients and started working one-on-one, -on -one, I was sold. The touch and the connection with people um, is what sold me. People don't really know what probation officers do. Um, and I think the hard work that they do, the dedication, the way they work, hours outside of their normal work hours, right? The commitment, um, they're just awesome. It's important to me that they know they, that they have my support, right? So um, I don't feel that I'm above them. I'm right there with them. I don't ask them to do anything I'm not willing to do. So when I was in Brooklyn, we supervise approximately 10,000 people a year. And because of the efforts of my staff, we were able to help affect about 800 early discharges a year, which is a huge number. And I was a probation officer, and I had this one female client. She was a victim of domestic violence, and I could tell she was very nervous. I saw so much potential in her. So collectively, she and I worked together to figure out what was her, what did she want to do with her life? So she said, I want to go to school, um, and I want, to, I want to be a nurse. I said, okay. So we worked with that. We worked for her, with her. She got her GED. She moved on. She got off probation. Years later, I was on the train, and I looked up. It was her. And she said to me, you saved my life. So to me, that's what we do at Department of Probation.